Hey Celeste, good afternoon. I hope this video is going to help you to be able to set this up for you. Um, I'm going to try to go as step by step as I can. So as you can see here on my screen, I'm currently just at Google. Okay. Um, if you're logged in, you'll see your information up here. But what I'm going to recommend that you do is that you're going to set up a separate account. And I'm going to show you what I've done. So going in here, uh, you can go in to sign in and here's where you can go add an account so what I did was I took and I added an account that is going to be just used for my photos um, I also use this that if you're using Google Play and things like that so once you're in here and you go through and actually set up this account uh, then you'll be able to access it so from here when you log in it's going to be like you're setting up a uh, separate Google profile and also like a Google Plus but you're not going to use the Google Plus part but what you're going to use is the tools so when you go here you're going to be able to see that there's going to be an icon right here that says photos so and I'm going to show you how you set this up through your phone so once you've set up your account as you can see here I have all the different photos that have been backing up automatically and I'm doing this by the way not only off of my phone but also Crystal's phone okay so now let me show you here how to, once you've set up your account, how to get it activated on your phone. Okay, great. So now what you're seeing is my iPhone here. So you can see that it, uh, see all my different apps. So once you've set up the account online, you're going to go into your app store. And on here, you're going to see, I just typed in Google, as you can see right here. And I'm going to scroll over and you're going to see Google+. Plus. So you're going to download that app. Once you do that, you're going to have this icon right here. And um, what I've done is I've gone ahead and set up this account, as you can see here. So you'll go through and you'll say, add new account. So let me sign out so you can see that. So when you first download the app, it's going to say, get started, as you can see here. So you press get started. And you may not have this come up so you want to say add another account so once you hit an add another account it's going to give you the capability of entering in the email and the password of the account you just set up so I'm going to back up because I've already done this so once you set up the account then you're going to get this that pops up so it'll show your account and then it's going to ask you do you want to back up your camera Auto backup saves photos and videos, by the way. So if you take video, photo, whatever it is, you're good to go. So go into that account and say, turn on for auto backup. So I'm going to go back into that account that I have set up for this. And again, you can toggle back and forth like what I'm doing right now from Google Plus account to Google Plus account. So like the one you just saw, I use that for business. The other one that I'm using for my photos, which is this one right here I have it all completely private so nobody can see this so then once you're in your phone you can go photo and you can look at all the photos that are there as you can see match here and um, you can also download these photos into your phone so let's say I go ooh I want that photo for an example so from in here I can enhance it as you can see right there or I can go into settings and I can delete the photo, refresh it, share it, uh, edit it, save as. Um, I can then copy it you know, to an album or download it right directly to my phone. Or if you set up your iPad, it works exactly the same way. So anything that you take pictures on your iPad, on your phone, on your other iPhones, um, it will download into this account and then you have full access to use it from any computer that has internet access any phone tablet etc etc so uh, going back that's pretty much it what you want to do once in a while just to make sure um, is that when you do have it set up on auto you can just pull down as you can see I'm doing there and it will look to see if there's any other photos that needs to be backed up and automatically then move it over here into Gmail so I hope this helps. I hope this is a good start. Have fun. Hit me up with uh, any email you need or questions. Talk to you soon.